Hi guys, so we're going to do another tutorial today. We are utilizing geodes and we're going to make a type of fish geode. So here it is. Pretty wicked, I think. Worked out really well. Now working with the geodes is a little difficult. Um, make sure that um, when we do this technique, um, you understand that you need to have it soft, but you also need that geodes um, uh, technique, uh, the geo. Anyways, we'll go through that. So you're going to need um, one geo, any color. Now you can do it all matching like I did this one, all green. Or you can do what I'm going to do next is make one that is slightly different. So I've got the lavender geo. I've got the dark purple 350. I've got a lavender 260. And I've got a 160 dark purple. And then we've got the eyes. Okay. So what you want to do is make sure that uh, when you blow up the geo, you're going to also um, stretch it out, release some of the air. So you've got a bit of a um, flexibility here to do the, the twisting that you need to do with the geo. So I pretty much blew it up all the way. But what we're going to do is let some air out so it's kind of odd looking, right? <laughs> so what I did is I, to make sure I've got it right, is I squished all the air in and then it almost disappears and it makes that really round, okay? So you've got that there. Now tie the knot up here, up at the top area. You want it up at the top area because you want, you're gonna need that, you need it to, to move. Now, I don't want it to move until I twist, so I'm gonna twist these two. So we've got one, you see the lines here? You got the two here, and then you got these two. So we're gonna twist at the lines right here. So squeeze it together. And twist. Okay. And you see this is still flexible, still not too tight. It looks tight, but it's it's still pretty good. Now up here, this some sometimes it'll pop this, okay? Um so take this. And if you turn it this way, it's easier. And you're gonna split again. It's okay if they're uneven bubbles, you because the lips, you notice, they are not even lips, okay? Let's see, bigger bottom lip than the upper lip. And I think that's really what makes the, the fish. Okay, so, because it's squishy, you should be able to do this without a problem. So what I did is I held this and I twisted this, okay? And now, depending on how you want the lips, which is usually the bigger bottom lip, there is your lips and the inner, inner body of your fish, right there. All right, so we're gonna take the 350 now I'm just letting you guys know that I'm running out of my Qualitex stuff, so in the future it's going to be 360s. Get it. Let's get low and low and low. So let's get that up. So you're not going to use all of the 350. So we're just going to attach right there. And you're just going to, now you want to squeeze it a little bit and pull because you kind of want that, that front end look. 
measure. And what I did, I wasn't too worried about the pinch twist just yet. But what I wanted to do was go ahead and so I like for that. Then I made the pinch twist. Okay. So I twisted it around the nozzle end. Then I made the pinch twist. That just, for me, it made it just made sure that that was what I wanted it to look like. Because sometimes when I'll go, oh, cool, that's cool, and then I make a pinch twist, the air in here fluctuates. And it just doesn't look as cool as I wanted it to. So now, we're going to take and go down this way. Once I figured out where I wanted it, I pinch, twist, then I bring it back down, roll it through. And I secured it. Okay. Now we've got the side. Now I'm going to use a lavender to um, do the fins, okay? Uh, to do the the bigger fins, where or the emphasis on the body area right here, and and, a, and the fin back here. Okay, so let's go ahead and blow that up. Now what I did is, is I made a three finger pinch twist. It'll look a little different because I'm using two different colors, but when I did it down here, it was, you know, there's the three finger pinch twist, there's the 350. Now if you want to, you can put two pinch twists here with the 350, that's just fine. I secure that in there and then we're just gonna make a bubble and then bring it up and around so about a three to four finger bubble depending on how big of a rear fin tail you want then make that arch like this and then that so So then, now you've got the rear fin on the fish. Okay. Now we're going to bring... We're going to find out which is the bottom, which is... Great emphasis is to know that the bigger lip on the bottom. So you bring this down to about right here, where you're going to break it, or not break it, you're going to twist. And then you're going to twist again. And got that. Make sure it's on the bottom part of it. So emphasis is the, the cheeky part of the geos up here. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. And the great marker is this right here. Let's see that line. So that's when you know 
you can go ahead and make that there. Bring it back to where you're going to tie it into there. That's my fault, the way I was tying that. But we'll repair it with another one. go we've got that like that now we're going to take the 160 whether you whatever color you have it for the matching or not matching or whatever emphasizing your 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 fit so I'm going to do two two finger rubbles like so, and then I'm going to use the nozzle, go it up and around, and it helped make a pinch twist. Then I'm going to go about four, four fingers, but I'm going to go about five fingers across, so three, four, five, six fingers crossed. I want the width of the fin to be longer than the that. So then, so it's like a pizza pie slice. Okay. Then we're going to Slide it in there. And there it is. Put some air out. Got one fin. Let's do it again. So we're gonna do a bubble, a bubble, bring it together, push. There, little fingers. And then we get five, six fingers, and then four fingers. Because I want to make sure if I'm using this for a decorative centerpiece, 
I want to try to make sure that I clean up the nozzles. Any type of straps around it so that it makes the piece look clean and it makes the piece look good. It looks pretty good with the emphasis of the two different colors, doesn't it? So you've got the solid look right here. And then you've got a bit of a colorful look here. Okay, so let's take two round and we're going to make them literally golf ball size or even ping pong ball size. You do not need it any bigger than golf ball size. Okay, so the eyes always look like this. So in order to make them big, in order to make them big, is that all you do is squeeze right on that. Now, these I got from the Private Reserve at Continental. I was ordering a lot of uh, prints last year, and that's just, it. they're not Private Reserve designs, but uh, they're just printed designs. You can get them at Continental, you can get them at All American Balloons, um, and allamericanballoons.net, continental.com, uh, or Lorac. Uh, magic.com. So I put that, tied them together, and then all I did was make sure I'm on the top area. are just adorable. Now you can be creative and do different eyes. You can do those mean eyes. You can draw eyes if you wish to just have some white uh, on there and draw eyes. You know, you can do it. Be creative. My designs are my designs. You can enhance them, um, make something different with them. Uh, be creative. It's okay. Uh, there we go. Let's let it go. Now we're going to just make some bubbles. Now what's cool about um, doing water bubbles for a fish, the bubbles do not need to be the same size, but because it's a great opportunity to practice your bubble making, making them all the same size is also good too. Now this is where, like I said, we want to make sure that we're cleaning up the design because it's going to be either a centerpiece, a birthday piece, or um, part of a display that needs to have some full cool fish and you want that, um, you want that um, clean look to it, okay? See my bubbles came apart. <laughs> okay, so there we are. Great fish, bulky fish, 
brings in a new tech, a new design for a fish that will help with all of your great centerpieces, all of your great uh, birthday parties, and all of your great under the sea parties. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for being so supportive. And again, don't forget to practice, practice, and practice because that's what makes a great balloon twister. God bless and have a good day.